welcome to Geek Delightful. I am super happy to show you my new background. If you haven't seen my birthday haul video yet, you can go check it out. I put it up on Tuesday and I show you guys in detail what I got for my birthday, a lot of which is on my shelves right now. I decided to make a squishy tutorial for today's video because I love squishies so much and I think they make great decorations too. And since summer is coming, well, I had to make something summery and refreshing. Although it isn't really refreshing because it's you, well, you can't eat it, so, but it looks refreshing, so. So here is my gigantic ice cream squishy. I'm so happy with how it turned out and you can use it as a room decor too or you can also play with it because it's magnetic. So look how cool this is and it actually, I mean, it, it really stays like this but then, whoop! How cool is that? The ice cream is super squishy, so you can even make any toppings that you want. I made some bananas, and I also made a little cherry right here, so you can just change it, and then, boop, <laughs> like this. It's so cool. So now I'll just stop talking so I can show you how to make your own ice cream squishy. So have fun, and here we go. Check out the description box for the fullest of materials. First, use a round object or bowl to trace a circle on a piece of white foam. Then cut out the circle. Trace the waffle pattern by making straight lines at 1 cm from each other, which will create small squares. Use white 3D paint to trace lines over the pattern you just drew to create a 3D waffle effect. Now let the paint dry for about 6 hours. While the cone dries, cut out 3 cubes of the same size in memory foam. Then cut a line on the 2 thirds of the cube for the largest edge of the ice cream scoops. Now carve the top 2 thirds into a round ball of ice cream, making small cuts to create a smoother surface. Once the top part is nice and round, start cutting the edges of the bottom part, carving them like you did for the top part. Make as many scoops as you want, then apply white paint to one of the scoops. Then paint a second one brown. And finally, mix some pink and white 3D paint for the third one. I use disposable gloves because this kind of paint really sticks to your fingers and it's really easy and fun to apply it with your hands instead of a paintbrush or a sponge. While the base color of the ice cream dries, you can cut out some toppings. I made a cherry and two slices of banana. Then color your banana slices with a mixture of white and a little bit of yellow 3D paint. Then add some small detail for more realism. I use 3D paint but you can make the details with acrylic paint which would dry a lot faster. Once the paint is dry, stick both slices together with hot glue. Then glue a magnet on the back of your cherry and bananas. Now make an indent on the bottom and top part of your ice cream scoops. Before gluing the magnets, make sure you test the side of attraction and then glue the opposite side down so your pieces will be attracted to each other. Glue a magnet inside the foam, followed by a second magnet on top. I decided to use two magnets on each side of the scoop so they would be strong enough to keep the scoops together. Then you can add some more detail on your ice cream with some acrylic paint. I added red spots to imitate strawberries in my pink ice cream, making the dots with a frosting tool so they wouldn't be perfectly round. I also added dark brown spots to the white ice cream to make it look like a cookies and cream flavor. You can make any flavor and toppings you like, just have fun with it. Then let it dry. Mix white, yellow, orange and brown 3D paint for the cone. Then paint your waffle with a makeup sponge, adding paint until the lines and foam are fully covered. Let it dry for a few minutes, then add more brown and orange to the remaining paint to make a darker shade, and use it to color the edges of the cone and make darker spots on your waffle so it looks more realistic. Now start rolling your cone and hot glue the side to close it. Then fill the tip with hot glue so the cotton filling will stay inside the cone. Once the glue has cooled down, fill your cone with cotton filling. I simply use some filling from a cheap pillow. Then cover the edges of the cone with hot glue before inserting one scoop of ice cream, squeezing it in to cover the openings. Now add your fake chocolate syrup using your brown 3D paint to create a dripping pattern on top of your scoops. Again, just have fun with it. I went for a cartoony look instead of a more realistic one and you could also use any color for the syrup that you want. I added a bit of white paint on top of the magnet, then I drizzled a very nice mint colored 3D paint on top of my scoops. Then let it dry overnight. There you go! Now you have your own gigantic magnetic ice cream squishy. for 
watching this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy this project. And if you make it to, please share a picture with me using hashtag geeklightful. I will be back next Saturday with a very special food review of a restaurant we have here in Montreal. And it should be pretty interesting, so I can't wait to share it with you guys. If you like this project, please give it a thumbs up and share it so many more people can see this tutorial and make it as well and have a lot of fun crafting. You can tell me what ice cream flavor is your favorite in the comments down below. I love hearing from you guys. I love you guys so much. Have a beautiful day and God bless you. Bye! Nope. Nope. Too far. Oh no. You can't see. There it is. My honor. And it's actually really solid. You can just like... Okay, maybe not that much. To like this. Uh-oh. We'll just leave it there. Okay. Please don't dry all the paint before starting playing with your ice cream. Pretty important. Or you're gonna have some paint everywhere. <laughs> so.